Alrighty, so let's go over these patterns one by one from the Milton model patterns. So the first pattern is the mind reading pattern. Now, much like the name implies, this language pattern claims to have the ability to know what someone else is thinking or feeling. So an example of a mind reading could be, I know that you're going to get a lot of value out of this blog post. Or do a lot of people just like you who feel that NLP is the world's greatest communication model? As you see what you see in the second um example, you see we're saying that um we're assuming that the person thinks that the NLP is world's greatest communication model, but even though this person may have not necessarily said it, but the way that the pattern is structured, it makes it seem like we're we know what they're thinking or they're feeling. And other examples because you you have seen or you've heard that or you feel that. Um, the second pattern of the Milton model pattern is the laws performative. And this is a statement of judgment, beliefs, or standards, which are expressed in such a way that the individual who has made the statement is not identified. An example of a laws performative is, it's going to be a lot of fun. As you see, it's saying, like, who, who says it's going to be a lot of fun? Or it's been proven that learning NLP would lead to a richer and much more fulfilling life. As again, the question is, well, who's, who proved that? And, you, and there's other examples could be many people think that or it's been proven that all the best tech, all the best companies. Next is on cause and effect, which is a statement that presupposes one thing causes another thing to happen. So an example could be because you're reading this blog post on the Milton model, you're putting yourself head and shoulders above the competition or your being here means that you're really serious about learning. Now, a complex equivalence is a statement that presupposes one thing is or means the same as another thing. An example of that is NLP is the greatest communication model in the world. So we're saying that NLP is the greatest communication model. So it's a complex equivalence. Or reading this blog post is one of the best ways to learn the Milton model. Learning NLP is a good way to invest your time and energy. Universal quantifiers next. Now, words that imply or state absolute conditions as being true. An example of that, always put yourself in a state of excellence before giving a presentation. Or everyone can begin to feel totally relaxed now. See how we're using these words that kind of encompass everyone, absolute, always, everyone, every, never, the universal. A modal operator, words that suggest something is necessary or possible within a person's model of the world. That things could be must, can, may, try, all of these things are modal operators. An example, NLP could be the greatest communication model in the world. We must develop the ability to be excellent communicators. Anomalization is words that change a process or verb into a static event or noun. Like you usually tell a word has been nominalized if it has the T-I-O-N as a suffix. So a college education, I-O-N, you see education is a nominalization of educate, doesn't have the same value as it did a generation ago. Or the revolution, which is a nominalization of revolt, will be televised. An unspecified verb or verbs that do not have phrases that specify how or on what an action is performed. Or at this retreat, you can begin to fit, make many changes starting now. Or NLP can create changes in your life. A tag question is questions that are used to turn the uncertainty of a question into the certainty of a statement. So you can add a tag like can you not, hasn't it, wasn't it, aren't you. An example of that being many people say that the Milton model has some of the best language patterns, don't they? Well, that was a great movie, wasn't it? You see, it's kind of like implying agreement to a certain extent. A lack of a referential index, the use of a noun or pronoun to refer to a non-specific group or category, a person doing or receiving the action is deleted. Now saying it's been said that NLP is the greatest communication model in the world, and one can only imagine the infinite possibilities when it comes to using the Milton model. Or well, it's a good thing for all employees to be able to master communication skills. You see, there's no real person... You see, you see, it's a non-specific group or category. Comparative deletions, statements that do not specifically state what or how a comparison is being made. So the example could be this blog post explains the Milton model better than any other blog post written on the subject. Another example is the best communicators in the world use NLP technology whether they know it or not.
Next is pace in current experience, which is statements that describe an ongoing experience. For example, as you sit there in front of your computer or smartphone reading this blog post on the Milton model, you begin to realize that it's possible for you to learn these hypnotic language patterns and become a master communicator. You see how I'm kind of pacing your current experience right now? There's a good chance that you're either reading this blog post, either on your computer or your smartphone, and now just kind of add some extra stuff to it to really make it extra hypnotic and extra suggestive. Next is a double bind. That's statements that offer two or more choices that are in fact the same choice. Now, for example, it could be, are you ready to get started now or in a day or two? You see, whether they answer it in a day or two or they're ready to get started now, the fact of the matter is they had that you're forced to get ready. Or you may begin to feel you may begin to feel terrific immediately, or it may take several minutes before you begin to feel great. Next is a conversational postulate. Now that's a statement in the form of a question, which when asked and taken literally, will require a yes or no answer. The statement is normally taken as a command to perform the requested action, and it works best when using the voice intonation of a command. Now this is now for example you can say this is a contract. Do you have a pen to sign it? Or can you run a quick errand for me? Or do you have a Visa or MasterCard to pay for your for our change program? Next is an extend quotes, a statement that contains one or more quotes that are intertwined with each other and with the story so that it becomes ambiguous as to what is quote and what is story. An example being, one of my clients at a firm that I work with said that he told two people in another organization and he told them directly, Jim, that you should hire my firm and that each of them said that they had been telling us to consider it seriously and he knew I could only work with a few companies right now. Now, if you actually manage to follow all that, I would be super impressed because I mean, I'm, I feel a little hypnotized just reading that right now. <laughs> so, selection restriction violation. These are statements that are violations of well formed meaning as understood by native speakers of English. An example being, when money talks, you should hire my firm to make more of it for you. Now, obviously, we know that our money can't talk. No, this blog post has a Milton model written all over it. Now, obviously, this blog post does contain the word Milton model, but it doesn't literally just contain only the word Milton model. Next, to get the embedded commands. That's the statement that includes indirect commands embedded within the statement itself. So, here's an example. Uh, when people like yourself, Jim, attend my seminar to get excited about how they can make many changes in their lives. You see any embedded command here, Jim, attend my seminar, attend my seminar. Or when clients hire my firm, Jim, all the work we do is to get results right now. You see, um, now when you when it comes to using a better command, you want to go and you want to alter your um the tonality on these specific words. So that way, it like subconsciously registers in the other person's mind. Next is an embedded question. These are questions that are embedded within a larger sentence. An example of that is, I'm curious to know what you think about this blog post, or I wonder how driven you are to effectively use the Milton model. Covering all ranges of possibilities. The statement covers all ranges of what is possible. An example being, when you decide to write a contract with me, I can work with my associates, work with some of your internal resource people, or I can come in and do the work by myself. Or another example being, when you decide to buy my product, you can write a check, use your credit card, or pay cash, whichever is more convenient for you. I prefer to write a catch. I prefer to write a check. Which do you prefer? Next, utilization. Statements that use everything as though you control it, as though you planned it and thought of it. For example, you're speaking to a person, person A says, hey, I'm not sold on this product. You respond by saying, of course you're not sold on this seminar because I haven't told you about all our success stories, as well as the one piece of information that you need to know before you are completely sold. You see, it just kind of took what that person said and it kind of just ran along with it. It's extremely powerful stuff. Here we got here, person A, there are many other great communication models. Person B says, you're right, there are many other great communication models. It's actually how NP was able to take the best of the best to make an even better model. It just takes whatever the person has it says, and it's kind of like doing a little bit of verbal judo. Building excitement and expectations. These are statements that are used to create excitement and expectation. For example, in a few minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can double your income with no extra work by joining my business opportunity. Or in a few minutes, we'll explain what almost everyone says is one of the best opportunities around. 
Next, truisms about sensations and time. Universal statements about sensations and time. For example, most people have experienced a feeling of being totally relaxed. And that's what you'll experience in one of this comprehensive change seminar. Well, sooner or later, people will discover that NLP is the greatest communication model in the world. Next, open-ended suggestions. These are statements that do not place the boundaries of what is possible or not possible for the future. For an example, we all are capable of making more money than we do right now. My business opportunity is one way to do this. Next, single binds. Statements that link one cause to one effect as the only possibility. Example, the greater we need to improve communication, the less time you should waste before you learn the Milton model. Next, I'm not going to tell you. Now, this is a statement that's used covertly or indirectly make an assertion. For example, I'm not going to tell you that the Milton model contains powerful language patterns. I'm going to let you find that out for yourself. Next, compound suggestions. A statement that makes a suggestion that one would like to be accepted and covertly covers this up by making a second statement of fact. So the syntax would be the first suggestion, then the second suggestion of a fact. For example, it is to your company's advantage to hire me. How we communicate is important, isn't it? Now, most people would probably agree that communication is important, but then by linking it right after it's in your current piece of advantage to hire me, it links these two ideas together and it becomes very hypnotic, very powerful. Next, phonological ambiguity. Words that sound the same but have different meanings. They generally use the calls ambiguity when spoken. So words like you and you, there, there, our, our, cc. You see, those words are spelled differently, but they all sound the same. So that's some all of the Milton model language patterns. I hope that you guys got a lot of value out of this. I definitely, um, I definitely recommend um, downloading the PDF because once you download the PDF, it's going to give you access to all the patterns. So you're more than welcome to download it. You can take it with you offline and just have a read of it and stuff. And you just have to go to PCIinstitute.net forward slash NLP slash Milton model. I'll probably have a link somewhere down below where you can go and you can opt in and stuff. But anyways, this is Jacob Laguerre, founder of PCI Institute. Just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and hit tap the bell icon so you become part of the notification squad. And also please consider supporting us on Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash PCI Institute. So once again, I just want to say thank you and I will see you on the next video. Peace.